Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Sri K T Rama Rao, Honorable Minister for Industries, Municipal Administration and Urban Development, I T, Electronics and Communication, Government of Telangana, for this special address. Good evening. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to firstly acknowledge the fact that we showed up late, but you all stayed. Thank you for that. Um, Honorable President of uh, FTCCI, Sri Anil Agarwalji, Ajay Shanjanji, my Principal Secretary, Mr. Anil Chalamalashetti, the guest of honor today. Also, we have uh, Sri Arunji, we also have Suresji, we have uh, Sudhakarji, uh, uh, you know, from uh, Sudhaka Pipes and Khyati, and to the entire um, family of FTCCI. Thank you for inviting me the third time because, you know, there was a time when I was accused of uh, not showing up for FTCCI events. But I think now that smear is gone. Now that I've done the hat trick, I've been three times. Three times, so now you can't say that I didn't come. And I also want to say that after the third election of Telangana, it's going to come. So, as I did a hat trick with you, you can also do a hat trick with me and take me back. Maybe I have to say that. And going by the applause, I am thinking uh, we'll come back. Um, just quickly, uh, Mr. Agarwal spoke about how the state has grown by leaps and bounds. Arunji also was pointing out to how this is a bright spot for the industry across the nation. You know, blowing one's own trumpet all the time is not a, not a very cool thing, but it's my fiduciary responsibility also to make sure that all of you understand the kind of growth that we have witnessed over the last nine years, especially as we enter the 10th year after the formation of the state. Um, let me quickly highlight a few things. Of course, governance is a permanent institution. Government is a permanent institution. You know, government, the leaders who head the government might change, but it's a continuous process. Lots of times what happens is, especially from a business perspective, policy continuity is extremely important. You now, there is one government during whose tenure you would have set up an industry and you would expect that whatever, were, whatever promises were made by that particular government will be kept by the succeeding government as well, irrespective of political affiliations, irrespective of, uh, um, you know, their overall strategies and overall worldviews. In Telangana, if you have noticed, over the last nine years, you've seen a very unique model I was mentioning it yesterday in a builders meeting. You know, I think most of you who are seniors and because, you know, you work in an organization which was set up in 1971, I'm presuming that uh, most of you are Hyderabadis and who've been here for the longest time, for three, four, five decades and more. So let me give you two examples that you can relate to. Back in early 2000s and late 90s, we had a chief minister, Sri Chandrababu Naidugaru, who had a very pro-business, pro-IT image was considered very business savvy, was considered very business friendly, etc. And then in 2004, we had another chief minister, Dr. Vyas Rajshekar Edigaru, who came in, who had a very pro-farmer, pro-welfare, pro-rural kind of an image. So we had a chief minister who was pro-business, pro-urban, pro-business, and then we had a chief minister who was pro-farmer, pro-rural, pro-poor. But today, if you look at Telangana, what makes this unique is KCR Garu has an image of both. In fact, it's a blend of best in both. We have a pro-rural, pro-agriculture, pro-welfare uh, image. We also have a pro-business, pro-urban, pro-development image. Now, let me substantiate and let me back that up by a few statistics. As was pointed out, the gross state domestic product of the state in 2014 was 5 lakh 5,000 crore, now it's 13.27 lakh crore. It's a huge, humongous growth, highest for any state in the country. The per capita was 1 lakh 12,000 in 2014, now it's 3 lakh 17,000, highest for any state in India today. I mean, uh, for the 28 states in India. Let me also point out the key sectors where we had to consolidate our strengths, where we had to ensure that all the synergies that are possible. You know, in terms of, because, you know, there is an existing ecosystem, so you'd want to build on, you know, brick by brick that was built with uh, 
great deal of love and affection, great deal of effort in the past had to be consolidated. So if you look at it, life sciences is a sector where we certainly added a lot of vigor, a lot of strength and today we are a formidable force, not just in India but also in the world. We produce 40% of India's pharmaceuticals from Telangana. We also produce one third of world vaccines and next year, in fact, we'll be producing one half, 50% of global vaccines. Let me also share with you, let me also share with you, we have the world's largest number of US FDA approved manufacturing facilities for any province in the world. The largest number is in Telangana, 214. The second largest is in New Jersey with 189. So we have the largest number of such world-class manufacturing facilities right here. Not only do we have these, we are further consolidating on our life sciences strengths. So we have launched India's largest medical devices park in Sultanpur, Patancharu, which is again, which almost, uh, which houses more than 60 units now, including the world's largest stent manufacturing facility. Also now, we're in the process, the last leg rather, of launching the world's largest pharma cluster in um, Mucherla, which is about 30 kilometers south of Shamshabad airport. If you've heard me clearly, you would have heard not India's largest, but repeatedly world's largest. Now, one of the things our Honorable Chief Minister believes in firmly is, if we really have to compete with the world, with the large manufacturing countries across the world, be it China, or be it the US, or any other large manufacturing country, we need to operate on scale, at scale. Only then will you be able to bring in economies of scale, compete. I remember in this exact venue about two years ago, when Mr. Piyush Goel was here, he and I, we sat with the All India Med Devices manufacturers as part of the annual flagship event of uh, Telangana government, BioAsia. I had invited Mr. Goel, he was here. So we were having a closed door discussion. So since it was a closed door discussion, we asked the representatives of the medical devices industry to speak freely and openly. And Mr. Goel is a very progressive man and he was very keen to hear from the industry. This was almost, I think, uh, right around the time of COVID, two years ago. So, a round table meeting, I didn't want industry leader to take my name, it's not a good thing. He was standing there and he said, Sir, the thing is that today I have a glove or mask or something from China or something from China and I ship it to Hindustan, Hyderabad or wherever in India. It actually is cheaper than manufacturing here. Now you tell me what is wrong in what I said or what, you know, you want us to compete with Chinese, you want us to compete with other large manufacturing medical devices companies across the world. You say, you are the Atma Bharat. How do you tell me? Because I ship from there, I ship from thousands of miles, I pay taxes, I pay taxes, I pay taxes, I pay import duties, I pay taxes, then it is also cheap to make it from here. So this is one thing that was pointed out, which really led to a lot of thinking, a lot of real churn. I mean, not just med devices. Today, India imports 78% of medical devices, 80% of edible oils, and the list goes on. The list goes on. There are several things for which we are heavily dependent. Even the pharmaceutical industry that I just talked about, heavy dependence on importing APIs from China. So my point is, if we really have to make a statement and make an impact on the world, on the world stage, I think we have to think at scale. Our Honorable Chief Minister led a delegation to China in 2015 as part of the World Economic Forum summer event. He went to a place called Shichou. I think if I'm pronouncing it uh, right, it's Shichou. He was amazed to see a 70,000 acre industrial park, 70,000 acres. When he came back, he told us, he said, they are on a different planet. They are on a different planet, they are on a different planet. If we have to do with them, then we have to do something else. It will not work. What we are doing every day, it will not work. It will not work. It will not work. It will not work. The point I'm trying to make, gentlemen and ladies, is I think federations are good. 
Comp sense of competition among Indian states is good. But the fact is, even after 75 years of independence, I mean, I can take relative comfort. Jab Anil ji kehte hai, Arun ji kehte hai ki Telangana bright spot hai, mujhe khushi hoti hai, khushi mehsus hoti hai. Kyunki achcha lagta hai sunne ko ki hum baaki rajyon se behtar hai. But ek Hindustani honne ke nate, you also feel bad. Achcha nahi lagta sunke ki hum 78% medical devices import karte hai, 80% edible oils import karte hai. As an Indian citizen, as an Indian, you don't feel good about it. So my humble request to you is, I think Telangana should not just be a bright spot among all Indian states. Hame baki Hindustan ko bhi rasta dikana chahiye aur batana chahiye ki business on a global scale, impactful statement kaise karna chahiye. And I request FTCCI to start thinking big, to start dreaming big, to start really aspiring to do more things. I understand that there are impediments, I understand that there are always going to be challenges. Or kafi sa, kafi baar, kafi baar mujhe ye bhi sunne ko mila, ki haan, thik hai, but agar hum, the return on investment is good, agar paisa bana rahe hain, sab chal raha hai, thik tak, to zyada sunchne ki kya baat hai, joh chal raha hai, chalne do, aur Hindustan mein ek aadat humari hai, joh chal, sab chalta hai attitude. I think at some point of time, if India really has to take its place under the sun, in the first world where it rightfully belongs, we all have to start thinking big, we all have to start dreaming big. And I can give you two, three examples. There's a company in Hyderabad, Azad Engineering, I think it is called. I'm proud, you know, they started right in front of our eyes. But today, they are working with global majors like Boeing, GE and others. I was so impressed learning about this company and how, what the kind of partnerships they've been forging. Not just that, I'm equally impressed and equally proud that sky route, just ka apne zikr ki Arunji. The first Indian space tech company to have sent a rocket into the orbit came from T Hub. And what's even more impressive, what's even more impressive is Elon Musk, jese thought leader and a disruptor, unko teen attempt karna pada SpaceX ko orbit, be, orbit me bejne ke liye. But hamari jo Hyderabadi company hai, Hindustani company hai, sky route. Usne pehle hi attempt mein Vikram S karke, Vikram Sarabhai ke naam pe jo rocket tha, pehle hi attempt mein usne space mein beja hai. In the same week, we had another Hyderabadi company called Dhruva Space, which also sent nano satellites into the orbit. I'm saying, if these youngsters can conquer the space, they can tread new territories and if they can conquer the unconquered, I think most of you who are experienced, seasoned, who have at least who have had stars in their eyes at some point, I think you'll have to start grooming your next gen and grooming your own companies to take on the big boys in the world. Yes, we are proud of the kind of progress Indian industry is making. Of course, we take a lot of pride. But, it feels bad because you will see it in your face. You do phone, the I am talking about the company that I am talking about. If you have a phone in your hand, either Apple or Samsung, or HTC or OnePlus, and you will go to the house. You will go to the car, either Mercedes, Benz, or Beamer, or Volvo, or Kia, or Toyota, or something else, Honda. Some people use Mahindra and Tata, but most people use it. And you will go to the house. Sit in the drawing room. एक बार 360 देख लेना कितने इंडियन प्रोडक्ट्स है ये भी देखना एक बार आपके घर में जो टीवी है आपके घर में जो वॉशिंग मशीन है आपके घर में जो छोटे छोटे चीज है 70 to 85 percent will be imported and if you think for a minute and next time you go abroad जैसे अभी अनिल जी ने कहा कि हम लोग डेलीगेशन लेके गए थाईलैंड और वियतनाम मैं सोच रहा था वहां बैठना थाईलैंड में वियतनाम में होटल रूम में देखना कितने इंडियन प्रोडक्ट है शायद एक भी नहीं दिखेगा मैं बात ये कहना चाहता हूँ कि हाँ हम लोग तरक्की कर रहे हैं, हम लोग प्रोग्रेस हो रहे हैं, but this is because of the demographic dividend that we're reaping. You know, this is by default. We're not doing anything extraordinary. We're not doing anything extraordinarily innovative. Unfortunately, that spark जो था लगना था, मैं आपको एक एग्जांपल देता हूँ. मैं गया था जापान. एक चार पांच साल पहले मैं जयेश हमारी पूरी टीम गई थी. मुझे वहाँ दो चीज अच्छे लगे. 
एक तो पहले दिन हम लोग देख रहे थे क्योंकि मैं म्यूनिसिपल मिनिस्टर भी हूं तो मैं देख रहा था सारा जगह साफ है एकदम साफ सुथरा क्लीन टोक्यो में हम लोग इधर उधर जा रहे हैं एक मीटिंग से दूसरा मीटिंग कहीं भी कोई कचरा नहीं कुछ नहीं तो मेरे साथ एक जापानीज साथी था वो इंडियन एम्बेसी का उससे पूछा मैंने कि भाई क्या करते क्या हो तुम लोग कैसे इतना साफ है वो हंस दिया कुछ नहीं बोला मैं बोला एक आंखी रीत है तो अगले दिन फिर से पकड़ लिया मैंने उसको आई सर हाउ डू यू कीप इट क्लीन हाउ डू यू कीप योर सिटी क्लीन स्माइल अगेन डिंट आंसर लास्ट डे आई सेड आई हैव टू होल्ड दिस फेलो रियली गेट एन आंसर आउट ऑफ हिम क्या हम लोग ये लोग क्या दो तीन चार पांच पांच बार क्लीन कर रहे हैं क्या सिटी को क्या कर रहे हैं तो आई सेड हाउ डू यू कीप योर सिटी क्लीन He smiled and he said, "We don't dirty it in the first place. Common sense है. उसने कहा कि अगर कचरा फेंकना ही नहीं है, तो उठाने की जरूरत है ही नहीं. Simple logic है. That was the first thing that was very impressive. The Japanese mindset. The second thing, we ended up at Suzuki factory in Hamamatsu. From Tokyo, we boarded a bullet train. We went to Hamamatsu. We met with the chairman of Suzuki, and then before the meeting. वी वर टोल्ड कि थोड़ा वक्त है थोड़ा समय है तो आप ऐसा कीजिए वहाँ म्यूजियम है सुजुकी म्यूजियम है वहाँ जाके आप थोड़ा वक्त बिताइए एक बीस बीस पच्चीस मिनट तो हम लोग गए वहाँ पे देख रहे थे मुझे मैं मुझे थोड़ा म्यूजियम म्यूजियम मुझे पसंद नहीं ज़्यादा मैं बस इधर उधर देख रहा था इतने में चिरंजीवी साहब का वहाँ पर एक फ़ोटो दिख गया तो मैंने एक सेल्फी ले लिया हमारे चिरंजीवी मेगा स्टार जो है उनका और इतने में मैं इधर उधर देख रहा था तो देखा मैंने कि छोटे छोटे बच्चे शायद दूसरी या सेकेंड और थर्ड ग्रेडर्स किस दिन सेकेंड और थर्ड ग्रेड देवर देर वो लोग टूअर ले रहे हैं तो मैं बोला यार अगर ग्रोन फुली ग्रोन अडल्ट लाइक मी इज गेटिंग बोर्ड और प्रॉब्लली विल गेट बोर्ड हियर वॉट विल दिस किड्स डू हियर सेकेंड एंड थर्ड ग्रेडर्स सो आई आज दिस जैपनीज जेंटलमैन आई सेट ये लोग क्या कर रहे हैं तो उन्होंने कहा जस्ट वॉच सो आई वॉज ऑब्जर्विंग दिस किड्स सो सो इंटरेस्टिंग एंड सो 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 वेरी एंड ग्रॉसिंग ऑल्सो दे वेंट टू अ कीस्क लाइक द कीस्क how you have these uh, you know diet sodas and other you know small uh, knickknacks right so they went they went to a kiosk aur is kiosk mein option diya gaya bachchon ko ki kaun si type ki gaadi aapko chahiye suzuki mein kaun si color chahiye kaun si make chahiye usko kaise aapko customize karna hai so they go through a series of steps like five different steps and the, when they hit the sixth button oh kiosk mein se us bacche ka naam ke sath ek gaadi aata hai bahar for example my name is ram सो so, मुझे एक सुजुकी विटारा चाहिए वो भी लाल वाला चाहिए तो आई हैव टू गो थ्रू सीरीज ऑफ स्टेप्स एंड देन आई टाइप माय नेम क्लिक एंड द गाड़ी कम्स आउट विद स्मॉल मिनियचर वर्शन यू गेट इट सो आई आज दिस जेंटलमैन आई सेड व्हाट इज द पर्पस ऑफ दिस ही सेड मोस्ट लर्निंग इज इंसिडेंटल मोस्ट ऑफ द लर्निंग इज इंसिडेंटल वी मेक इट लाइक अ जॉयस प्लेफुल एक्सपीरियंस बट वी आर इनकल्केटिंग डिजाइन थिंकिंग फ्रॉम अ अर्ली स्टेज बच्चे को हम ये उसके मन में बिठा रहे हैं कि आप भी गाड़ी बना सकते हो जो जैसा आपको चाहिए वैसा बना सकते हो ये कोई बड़ी बात नहीं है गाड़ी बनाना ये बचपन से हम इनग्रेन करते हैं उसके दिमाग में दैट इज व्हाई जापान इज वन ऑफ द स्मार्टेस्ट मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कंट्रीज इन द वर्ल्ड दिस वाज द मैसेज दैट किड्स वो बींग गिवन एंड द थर्ड एंड द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग आई टेल यू अबाउट जापान विच आई ट्रूली एडमायर एज अ कंट्री हमारी इंडिपेंडेंस मिली हमें हिंदुस्तान को आजादी मिली नाइनटीन में आपको पता ही है हम अभी 75 फाइव ईयर्स हम लोग कंप्लीट कर चुके हैं राइट अराउंड द टाइम ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस ऑफ इंडिया जापान वॉज ओनली कंट्री इन वर्ल्ड वॉर टू अराउंड द सेम टाइम दो साल इधर उधर विच वॉज बॉम्ब इट वॉज ओनली कंट्री इन द प्लानट दैट हज बीन बॉम्ब बाय न्यूक्लियर बॉम्ब्स हिरोशिमा एंड नागा साकी वी ऑल नो दे लॉस मिलियंस ऑफ लाइफ जापान अ कंट्री हुज पॉपुलेशन इज ट्वेल्व प्लस क्रोर्स नाउ 90% परसेंट ऑफ देर टेरेन इज इन हॉस्पिटेबल वहां लोग नहीं रह सकते हैं या तो पहाड़ है या जंगल है या समुंदर है एंड इट्स अ वेरी वेरी यू नो इट्स अ कंट्री दैट इज बीन एफेक्टेड बाई ऑल काइंड ऑफ नेचुरल फोर्सेस देर आर टाइफोन्स देर आर साइक्लोन सुनामीज अर्थक्वेक्स एंड देन दे वर बॉम्ब वेरी फ्यू नेचुरल रिसोर्सेस बट टूडे देर द थर्ड लार्जेस्ट इकोनॉमी इन द वर्ल्ड वाई डू यू सपोज दैट इज because the japanese have decided that their fight is against the odds unke paas kuch nahi hai natural resources nahi hai bhagwan ka matlab diya hua kuch zyada kuch nahi hai unke paas ek hi cheez hai dimag hai usko unhone chalaya 
and in the last 40 years with relentless pursuit. Today, look around wherever you are, you will see a Japanese product. You will see either a television or a car or something that has been made in Japan. Now, I think it is incumbent upon us to shed this conservative mindset that we are going sales tax. Ka kya keh rahe sir, ap? Per square foot wala tax hatao. Haan, hatayenge, koi baat nahi, alag baat hai. But, main kya keh Thoda durandesh ki baat chale to achha hai. I think we cannot be closeted, we cannot be, you know, uh, you know, confined to this thinking ki mujhe Maharashtra ke saath compete karna hai, meri business, us business ke saath, Keral ke saath karna hai, ya Tamil Nadu ke saath, ya Andhra ke saath karna hai. No, I think, please start thinking global. At least next gen ko thoda bahar exposure dilaiye. Exposure visits can't be about, you know, one meeting and then going around and, uh, you know, tour, tourism, dekhe idhar udhar char photo leke wapis hai, waise nahi. I think you really have to take our next gen youngsters, the FTCCI young team, to actually visit some of these world class companies and focus on making sure they come back inspired and do something truly outstanding. Because, you know, the gentleman from SBI is here and he'll tell you capital is not a constraint anymore. Agar aapke paas idea hai, agar aapke paas dimak hai, aur aapki product mein dumb hai, capital to aaj kahin se aa sakta hai. A shining example hai mare gopi yaan pe. Anil Chalmal Shetty, let me tell you his story, he's a friend so I know. Anil was also a software employee in London till 2010 I think, 9, 10, 9 or 10. He, his, fa his parents are doctors, so they actually gave him good education, but he's a first gen entrepreneur. In 2009-10, he started his company in London, which he called Green Company, Green Coker. Today, Anil is one of the largest renewable energy producers in the world, not India. So even our guys can do it. And how did he raise his capital? He has institutional investors, you know, GIC, the Singapore government company. He has Adiya, he has a lot of others, institutional investors. So if he can do it, I'm sure there are many of us here who can also do it, who can also dream big. Likewise, let me also tell you, today, not only raising a capital, but also the governments, across the country, be it the central government or the state government. Today, we understand you better than what we understood you 30 years ago. 30 years ago, when an IAS officer, principal secretary or commissioner of industries, he used to sit in an ivory tower and you had to go and beg with them. He had to go and beg with them. He had to go and beg with them. Today, he had to go Today, in fact, we are coming to you. We are pushing you. Jayesh Ranjan is on his WhatsApp, I think, almost 24 by 7. आप सभी के मेरे को जहाँ तक जानकारी है मैं तो ये समझता हूँ कि इस ऑडियंस में से कम से कम 80 परसेंट लोगों के पास जेएस का फोन नंबर होगा। He is that accessible. Governments are that accessible to you. I mean, this was never the case in the past. The entry barriers have lowered. It is it is done. It has become easy to do business. Today, a state like Telangana tells you, if you want to start a new factory in my state, you don't need a permission because आपको ये सुनके ताजुब होगी। you will be surprised listening to this. About eight years ago, when Jayesh was Commissioner of Industries, I was not the Minister of Industry then. There was somebody else. The Honorable Chief Minister K C R Garu took a review. So as part of the review, he simply asked one question to the Special Chief Secretary Pradeep Chandra, who was the uh, you know, man who was looking after industries then, and to Jayesh, who was the Commissioner of Industries then. And I also see Ajay Mishraji here. Hi, sir. So, he asked one simple question. KCR Garu asked one simple question. He said, why should the government give any clearance to industry? Government ko industry ko clearance dena kya zaruri hai? Kyun hum log ye teen mahine, chhe mahine, kyun lagate hai isme aur kyun industry ko permission dene kya zaruri hai? Ek IAS officer jisne 15 saal, 20 saal, 25 saal service mein bitaya, usko ek naya chief minister uske saamne baith ke puchta hai ki परमिशन देने की क्या जरूरत है तो जयेश और प्रदीप एक दूसरे के चेहरे देख रहे थे कि अभी क्या बोलना है अब जरूरत क्या है कोई पूछ रहे हैं तो देन आई थिंक दे रिकवर्ड एंड दे सेड सर अगर कोई एक्सीडेंट वैक्सीडेंट हो गया कम से कम अकाउंटेबिलिटी तो होगी वरना परमिशन नहीं देंगे तो कैसे पता चलेगा कौन कर रहा है क्या कर रहा है देन सीएम सर सेड ओके लेट्स डू वन थिंग जैसे हम लोग राइट टू एजुकेशन किए हैं राइट टू इंफॉर्मेशन कर रहे हैं लेट अस मेक राइट टू सेल्फ सर्टिफिकेशन अ चॉइस ऑफ द इन्वेस्टर अगर वो डिक्लेयर करते हैं 
okay, I am going to be a law, law abiding industry, law abiding institution, then let us take it at face value, self certification allow kardo. Sati sat, because you said we need compliance, we need information, let them also submit something online so that we have a record, we do good bookkeeping and we decide ki kon kya kar rahe hai, kaise kar rahe hai. This kind of disruption and innovation in policy is what Telangana has indulged in over the last nine years consistently. Not only in industrial policy in TSI pass. Ekkis pandra din mein agar permission de denge, agar nahi denge, to solva din automatic approval hai. Koi Hindustan ki koi raj aapko nahi batati hai. Aur jayesh jayesh senior bureaucrat ko bhi aaj ek hazar rupiya ka fine lag sakta hai. Agar aapka file usne solva din ya satra din aap, agar unho ne hold kiya hua hai, so he can be fined a sum of rupees 1000 per day. This is by statute, by legislation. No Indian state will tell you this. And most importantly, not just in industrial policy, even our building permissions today, all building permissions again in the same model, 21 days, we promise all clearances. If we don't deliver, 22nd day, it's a deemed approval. No state in India will tell you this. These are the disruptions our Honorable Chief Minister brought. That's why today, if somebody asks me, what is this? Telangana model that you gloat about, brag about, I only say four things. It's holistic, integrated, it is inclusive, and most importantly, it's balanced. What do I mean? What I mean is, today Telangana, when I said, Dr. Vyas, Rajshekar Reddy and Chandra Babu Naidu, and the contrast between the two of them, and how Telangana is an amalgamation of the best in both. The reason why I say that is because we are less than 3% three, three of India's population. But today, when national panchayati awards and national municipality awards are declared by government of India, this state with less than 3% wins 30% of the awards. No other Indian state has been able to accomplish that kind of feat. We are only 2.5% of India in population, but we contribute to 5% of India's GDP. Literally, we are a 50 kilo boxer fighting in 100 kilo category, punching double our weight. Not many states in India can claim that. Most importantly, we have ensured that this development is holistic. We have not neglected any sector. Our IT sector and IT exports have risen from 56,000 crores in 2014 to 2,41,000 crores in 2023. Our IT experts have risen, but IT exports have risen, but so have our agriculture exports. In 2014, we procured 68 lakh metric tons of paddy rice, but today we procure three and a half crore metric tons of paddy. So our balance that you see between agri and IT. Our industry has grown. $47 billion of investment has been attracted by Telangana state. As Jay said, 24% of that investment is repeat investment. Our industry has grown, has created jobs, but so has our environment. Our green cover has improved by 7.7%, highest in the country for any state. Now this is the kind of balance I'm talking about. Our development and welfare go hand in hand. Our rural development, urban development go hand in hand. Our IT exports and agri-exports grow hand in hand. Our industry and environment also grow hand in hand. That's why I call my state the most successful startup of independent India in the last 75 years. My humble request to FTCCI, I'm not happy with these relative achievements relative to other states. I think we have to do more. We have to achieve more. We have to really make an impact on a global scale. So my humble request, like I said, prepare the next gen to take on the world, prepare the next gen to create products that will make not just Telanganites, but India proud. And I hope FTCCI can drive us in, the, in that direction. You mentioned a couple of things, Anilji. I will, of course, take all of those issues up with you and uh, your office bearers. I'll also have to run it by the Honorable Chief Minister before I can make any firm announcement here. But yes, the OTS that you mentioned, I will make it happen. I've already informed uh, Jayesh to take up the matter. The one-time settlement of pending electricity arrears, we'll take it up, we'll get it done. But the baki do cheese apne pataya, mai uske, uske baare mein mai aapko alag se privately bolunga and we'll make it happen, but just that we need our boss's blessing. So thank you FTCCI for inviting us. Uh, you know, this is a hat trick, like I said, and uh, I hope to come back next year as well and present the awards. Thank you. Jai Telangana. <laughs>